As you know, the 3rd of December is the International Day of Persons with a Disability. And around that 3rd of December, many organisations uh, plan activities and events. Here in Brussels, ESPD organised two very important events. First of all, we had a very interesting event around the employment and employment services for persons with a disability, just to make the labour market more disability friendly and to promote uh, job creation for persons with a disability. The second event we had was on uh, FC, the famous Juncker package. We really want our sector to benefit from this uh, European uh, money that is uh, available. So we worked on these two issues. Also the Commission organized uh, the European Day uh, conference, the European Day for Persons with a Disability uh, here uh, in Brussels. And also that was, I think, a very important and a very positive event. Later on in this uh, video uh, news, you will see an interview with uh, Madame Emmanuel Grange, the head of unit of the uh, Inclusion and Disability uh, Unit. Also in this video clip, a message from our president, uh, Jim Crow, newly elected and really very ambitious to bring ESPD to the next uh, level. Last but not least, UNESCO decided a few days ago that Belgian beer is world cultural heritage. Slonsha, Santé, Gesundheit, Nasdrovia. See you next time. What might be maybe the long-term positive effect for ordinary people with a disability living in part of the European Union? Well, I hope that thanks to the conference, I will have the possibility to meet with people who have been in our conference and who will be able to give them some information, insight about what is going on in the European Union and also between the member states, the kind of best practices we have, latest available information about uh, what is going on inside the European Parliament also, because we had MPs, we had a uh, uh, people from the United Nations also. So I hope we were able to bring uh, useful information, also the possibility to network and uh, to exchange knowledge and uh, experiences uh, amongst the participants. So I hope I will be able to bring that back home and to spread a little bit the information. Yesterday we also celebrated again the Access Mobility yes. Award for Cities. Yes. What is the long-term effect of this type of award? I hope it gives good examples to other cities and it's, impi it, 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 it's inspiring for other cities to get committed to do accessibility in their own towns. Um, I, f I hope that we will be able to give more visibility to this uh, world because it's, it's really fantastic to see what some cities are able to do in terms of accessibility for persons with disabilities and older persons also. Um, so I really hope that this awards will, well, it won't be as famous as the Oscars, I'm afraid. But, uh, I but think it might have, have a, good, a yeah. real impact on real people. Yes, but it's much more yes impactful, I think, on, on the people's life. And I hope we will be able to, to make it very well known. Yeah. And the people who joined the conference uh, yesterday and today will be able to also do some advertisement for this. Uh, Hello, my name is Jim Crow. I'm the new president of ESPD. I look forward to working for ESPD and taking this organ important organisation forward over the coming years. I think our immediate priorities as an organisation are to ensure that we have strong communication with you as our members, back and forth that we fight with other organizations for the full implementation of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Disabled People. And that within that, we continue to fight for deinstitutionalization and for the legal rights of disabled people. Together, we can make a difference.